The Tortola Cruise Fair and Park celebrated its one-year anniversary on February 16, 2017. The expansion of the pair and the development of the landside attraction involving more than 60 shops oftentimes sees as many as three ships docked in port. I took a look at Minister of Communication and Works Mark Vanterpool's touting of the pair park's accomplishments during his budget debate presentation. The Tortola Pear Park has been credited with almost doubling the number of cruise passengers visiting the British Virgin Islands to nearly 700,000. The development has not been without its critics, particularly in light of the cost overrun of some $30 million with a total bill of $82.3 million. But Minister responsible for one of the largest capital projects under the National Democratic Party administration, Mark Vanterpool, spoke highly of the Pear Park's addition of value to the BVI economy during his contribution to the budget debate on February 28, 2017. He pointed out that the government was left no choice but to proceed with the project after the Caribbean Cruise Association gave them an ultimatum. Vanterpool argued that the Pear Park is a strong symbol of the program Progress being made in the BVI, trumpeting its payout of $500,000 in returns to investors in its first year. The overruns and so on, that's good criticism, nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, Madam Speaker, as Minister responsible for that development, I say, Madam Speaker, the investment in that project was good. Good progress. Because one year later, after you invested, the Tortola Pear Park Limited Company paid out in dividends $531,374. That is somewhere between 8 and 9% return on your investment. Tortola Pear Park Limited has said that there is currently 90% occupancy of the shops on hand, with full occupancy expected in 2017. Minister Vanterpool reported that the income from rental at the Pear Park is doing well, as well as the Pear Park repaying its bank loan. The Port Authority borrowed $50 million. The Port Authority also paid back the bank between interest and principal, a total of $9,049,529. Also, the Pay Park Limited have collected rents for this past year, rents in the amount of $1.447 million. And they expect to collect in this year $2.1 million in rent. Minister Vanterpool said the head tax haul from the Pear Park is expected to continue contributing significantly to the coffers of the government, particularly in light of the increase in the head tax per person from $7 to $15. We have collected in 2016 $9,940,808 in head tax. And that is not with their full strength yet because they really started getting their full strength in the middle of 2016. Good things are happening in the Virgin Islands. Yes, some things are not so great that are happening, but good things are happening too.